Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a car with automatic transmission and you have transmission shutters. Stay with us, we'll explain what usually causes that, how to fix it and common mistake people make that can actually cause that shutter. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart guys and show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. How we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. Now, if you need to buy any parts, tools, additives, transmission fluid for a really good price and save quite a bit of money on shipping as well, you can get free shipping on most of them. Check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and supplies as well guys so with that being said okay let's explain what we have here this is a six-speed automatic transmission out of a uh, Hyundai Kia vehicle but that transmission has been used in Dodge Jeep Chrysler more than 50 models of vehicles guys transmissions are crazy things sometimes you can find it in Mercedes BMWs Mazdas and they'll still use the same transmission okay so the company builds them sells it to the uh, to the manufacturers but this one is built specifically by Hyundai and sells it to other ones so what causes transmission shutter usually? Transmission shutter is problems with the, uh, usually with the uh, torque converter, but it could be something else as well. Uh, and we drain the transmission fluid and you can see how terrible that transmission fluid is. Sometimes fluid that's old and not lubricating correctly can cause shutter as well. So it's important to change your transmission fluid according to your manual and sometimes even more often. Because new transmissions often you cannot replace the transmission filter. So I recommend to change the transmission fluid more often because those black swirls that's actually contamination from the clutches wearing and that dust will accumulate into shifting solenoids guys into the throttle into the valve body transmission valve body and it may start acting up eventually the torque converter can go out too so make sure that the transmission fluid is fresh make sure that you have enough transmission fluid it's not too low or too high Okay, and make sure you use the original transmission fluid. That's the number one thing that we get at the shop. Okay, people using transmission fluid that's not actually made for their transmission. That's quite, quite often will cause transmission shutter. So if that's the case, you need to drain the fluid, add original fluid and do that up to three times so we can replace about 90% of the fluid in your transmission because every time you drain the fluid from the transmission, okay, you will get only about 50 to 60% next time you do it you get the rest of 25 percent and then 12 and a half percent so you'll be at about 87 88 percent okay fluid replacement at that point so it will require three flushes always use original fluid now something else that can help if it's mechanical in the transmission it's shutter fix we personally used it guys on multiple cars and it does work uh, now <laughs> did the problem still stay on in some cases yes but it made it so unnoticeable that unless you know about it you may not even notice it so probably about 90 percent improvement up to 90 percent improvement that we uh, we notice okay and we had to use two bottles of that on another vehicle guys now uh, another thing that can cause shutter sometimes it could be bad torque converter in order to replace it you need to remove the transmission out of the engine which is more time consuming another thing could be dirty valve body or sometimes problems with the shifting solenoid for the torque converter but not so often guys most of the times it's either torque converter fluid or valve body in some cases but uh, <coughs> i'll recommend with starting with the fluid flush it a couple of times add an additive instant shutter fix if that doesn't take care of the problem okay it's very likely you have a bad torque converter hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time